In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a category landing page. You may have seen these on some big websites where when you go into a parent level category, they don't immediately show you products, but they have some banners and some blocks that, you know, some images that maybe take you to some of the subcategories, maybe some lifestyle imagery, some featured products, things like that. So if you want to do that on your big commerce store, um, first you need to change the settings. And then the second thing you'll be able to do is remove some default text that says there are no products in the category and then we'll go ahead and build out the landing page so just so you can get a sense if we go into products and we view my categories i have this kitchen category here which has a few subcategories and you can see there are products in the subcategories but there aren't any products in the parent category of kitchen now if you do have products in the parent category you are going to need to move those into the subcategories Otherwise, this process won't work. But basically, you want zero products in the parent category and all your products in the subcategories. So we're going to go into our store settings and then go down to display. And we're going to go down to the category settings here. And you'll see the default setting says to show products from child categories if the current category is empty. And if we look at our store, you can see if I go to the kitchen category, the all kitchen, that's exactly what's happening. So there are no products in the actual kitchen category. So it's showing me the products that are in these subcategories. So I don't want that to happen. I want to change that to this top option, which says show products from the current category only, which we know are zero. So it's not going to show any products on that page. Go ahead and save that. And then if we refresh, we'll see there are no products showing now. But the thing is, is there's this text that says there are no products listed under this category. So we want to get rid of that because it doesn't look great. So if we go back into our control panel, we're going to go to where our themes are. Um, I'm in a multi storefront sandbox right now. So if you're a multi storefront or enterprise, you would click on channel manager and that's going to give you the option to go into your theme. Otherwise, you would just click on storefront and you'll see your themes here. So we're going to go find our themes. Now, in order to edit your theme files, you will need to make a copy first. So you can see here's my base theme. I've already made a copy, which I've named Cornerstone Custom. Um, so you'll need to do that first if you haven't already made a copy. Um, I'm going to go into Advanced and then Edit Theme Files. Now, there are two places where that text might be. It's either going to be, depending on your theme, under Templates, Pages, Category. And down here, sometimes you'll see, it'll show you the, the code that's going to spit out your product listings. And then underneath there, it'll say, or show this text, which is that default text. The other place it might be, in this version of Cornerstone, it's actually in the product listing component. So if you don't see something showing that text there, then you're going to go to the component. So that would be under templates, components, category, product listing. And then here we'll see this is a logical statement here. It says if there are products in the category, then show the, either the grid or the list view of those products. If there aren't, then show this message here. And you can see this P tag right here indicates a paragraph. And then you can see there's a variable for categories no products which is that text that we want to get rid of so all we're going to do is we're just going to comment out this paragraph and to comment something out you put an open caret then an exclamation point and then two dashes and then down here at the end you basically do the reverse without the exclamation point so two dashes and then a closed right caret and if you do it correctly, you'll see that this text, this code all changed to green, which indicates to you that this is this code is not going to be read. It's not going to be executed on the page. So if we go ahead and save that file. Now we come back and look at our kitchen category, refresh it. You can see that text is gone, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. So the easiest way to create that landing page is in Page Builder. So if we go directly to that category in the control panel, 
we can come over here, click on these three dots, and then go view in page builder. And you'll see that we've got two regions, one that goes across the whole screen and one that's in this right column. Now, depending on what theme you're using, you may or may not have this left nav with the uh, category, the subcategories listed. Um, it's really going to depend on your theme. But you can get the sense of if we want to put a big banner at the top and then maybe we want to a little space there. And then maybe we want to have some featured categories. We're going to put some lifestyle images in there. And then maybe under that, we want to have another full width banner promoting a special. Maybe under that, we want to have some featured products so we could use a product set. Maybe at the bottom, we want to have some text for SEO. So you get the idea. We can do something that looks a lot nicer than just having products on that parent category page. We can use this to market things seasonally, um, to announce new items, new collections, whatever you might want to show here. But that's basically the gist of it. And then when you're done, obviously you're going to hit publish and you'll publish that to your site. So that's how you go ahead and create a category landing page. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did like it, please like this video below and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments area and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos in the future.